And let's talk some TV. And let's talk about Sci-Fi's new TV show, Ascension. Now, I say it's a TV show, but it's really a six-part miniseries. And when I say it's a six-part miniseries, it's a three-night event where they're pretty much showing a movie a night. I don't know why they call it six parts, because it's really just two movie, one movie a night, one two-hour movie a night. I mean, why do they do that? They just do. I don't know. They want to make it seem shorter, and so that they can play it again in six parts if they really want to. Well, they can. They, they probably will, too. So, um, there's not really any big-name actors in this, except for Trisha Helfer, uh, and she was in Battlestar Galactica, so she's kind of familiar with the premise of the show. But the premise of the show um, is kind of... So, it's the 1960s. JFK is worried that the Earth will be destroyed by nuclear war, so he commissions this giant spaceship to be built, sent off into space, and it's going to travel, it's about a hundred year journey to the nearest inhabitable planet that they found. And there's about 600 or so people on this ship. And they're about 50 years through the journey. So, almost present day. And what happens? The first murder ever since the ship took off happens on this boat. Um, a young girl gets murdered in their like beach simulation area. So, that's kind of where it starts off. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the behind the scenes science. So, most people would be like, oh, that's stupid. Nobody, We could never do that in the 60s. But apparently we did develop some t sort of interstellar uh, travel device in the 1960s, and it was because JFK did think it was a good idea. It was called Project Orion. I don't know if anybody's heard of that one. Now, Project Orion was based on the theory that you could propel yourself with nuclear explosions as your propulsion. So... Oh, okay. It was as a way to lift off, lift off of Earth. And then they're like, wait. But we'd destroy Earth? Behind? We would destroy Earth doing this. So let's Unless not do that. a very controlled nuclear... I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe they thought they could control it better. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? But then... Maybe they didn't finish it. Maybe it was just everyone didn't realize it was just an escape plan. Well, it was, it was pretty much an escape plan, and then they never did finish it. And well, as far as we know, maybe the government's hiding something. I'm saying maybe they did. Maybe it's part of the. Maybe that's specifically like the president, and the Congress's like escape plan. If if Earth goes to crazy shit one time, <laughs> bam, we're gone. Let's just and start hate. blowing our way up to space. <laughs> but and apparently it was modified later on, and this is the the actual what happened uh, to. Actually, the nuclear explosions would only start taking place as the propulsion in space. You'd lift yourself off some other way, and then start using the nuclear explosions to I get yourself where you're going. Makes a lot more sense. Yeah, which makes a ton of more sense. It's like, <laughs> hey, you know, let's escape Earth before we it gets blown up with nuclear explosions. Wait, us lifting off will destroy the Earth. Hmm. So yeah, so that's what's going on now. The show start. We started the show. Well, we tried to start start the show at ten. Uh, that's right in the middle of the first night's episodes. I did watch the first 45 minutes to an hour of the first show, and it was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, they've introduced some very interesting characters. You have a conniving Trisha Helfer is the captain's wife. You have uh, a young XO who's investigating this murder. You have some really creepy little girl who keeps saying, if we go that way, we're going to die, but that way's life, and she screams at ghosts. So... But they're kind of leading up to, like, there's a rebellion brewing. At something like 52, 53 years into the journey is the point of no return. So they won't have enough to turn around and come back to Earth. And apparently a lot of the people on the lower decks want to turn around and come back to Earth. Hmm. So it's been pretty interesting. I'm going to have to, uh, you know, try to check it on demand or something like that. But I, I am going to watch the rest of the, 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 five, the five parts I missed. So I just thought it was a cool idea. Now, it is very eerily similar to, like, the Battlestar Galactica. That's why I said Trisha Helfer would work in there. But instead of uh, fighting off Cylons, she's fighting off uh, Rebellion in the lower deck. So. But the whole spaceship was pretty cool. It's really well designed, it looks like. I don't understand how they got gravity into the spaceship, and they don't explain that. But, you know, maybe that's just going to be TV magic. I mean, they do that in every spaceship, though. Every sci-fi, don't they? They, they yeah, figure, but usually like, they're they, like, they, hey, they don't always engage the gravity it. generators. Yeah, that's <laughs> usually what it is. Like, if they do so. explain, it comes down to we have gravity generators. Mm -hmm. But and okay. I do like I like I like the uh, the feel of the ship as well because they do say it lifted off in 1963. You still have old 1963 television screens. They do media references of pre 1963, like television and radio and stuff. 
and and like the buttons on all the control panels were like you would what you see. They don't have like touch screens and and stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting too. So they they do so, do some pretty cool parts to it. They they try to keep it more realistic. And then there is another half of the story. It seems like they haven't really delved into it as much as the space odyssey. But apparently there's this guy trying to find the guy who originally invented this spaceship. Uh, hmm. The government has since quelled it. They have said, oh, no, that never happened, and most people don't realize it ever happened. So eh, they're, they're doing two different angles to it. So it is interesting so far. Again, I am curious to see the rest of it, but I like the premise. I think it's a pretty cool original premise, and uh, I'm going to keep checking that out. Are you going to check it out, Brendan? Maybe. I keep seeing trailers for it. You know, when, when you're getting bombarded with advertisements everywhere, on, particularly on YouTube, maybe you guys are watching one right now. I don't know. Uh, it looks interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe, maybe Brennan will comes check it to out. Them stream. Is when it, Brennan what, says maybe, right when Brennan says maybe, that means no. Well, where's it playing? Where's it playing? It's on Sci-Fi Channel. See, maybe, maybe when it comes to one of them streaming services. Well, you could probably check it out free online. Maybe when it comes to one of those streaming services, so I can watch them on <laughs> PS3. Okay. <laughs> That's oh, how right. I watch Fair my enough. shows now. That, that Fair is. Enough. Play PS3 and Wii U. Like, if it's Fair online. enough. Fair enough. That's how I watch 90% of my TV, too. But let us know. Are you excited about the show? Have you watched the show? Has it been cool? Uh, let us know. Hit us up. Comment down below. Of course, at which is my face on Twitter. Google Plus, Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep on moving. 